Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be telling a story because I really want to boost my channel up a little bit, and I don't really know what to talk about or do on my channel. So I decided I'm gonna tell a story from when I was in year four, which I think is either third grade. I think it's third. No, Hold on, it's it's either third grade or fifth grade. I know years are different because I live in New Zealand, so we have years, not um, uh, grades. I know it's weird, but it's not weird to me. It's weird to, like, Americans and stuff. Um, anyway. So, I'm gonna tell a story when I was, I'm just gonna say my eight. So, I was, uh, nine. No, 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 I was eight, actually, eight. When this happened, right? Um. So, I'll just give you some background, right? I was quite... I got up to mischief when I was in that age. Not ser I mean, this one was kind of serious mischief, but um, yeah. So I had a friend. It was two other boys. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave that name out. Let's just call him uh, Michael for now. Um, and yeah, there were two other boys. I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna get, remove that other name because. I can't actually say his name. Anyway, um, when he got up to mischief, you know, uh, the two other boys, no, the, uh, one of the other people, one of, one of the other boys and the friend that did this with me, always got into fights and stuff. They were like half friends. They were like very on off friends, you know what I mean? Um, we, like, as you know, got into a lot of mischief. We discovered that if you shop if you put like a pencil on the edge of a table you could cut down on it real hard and it would get a really clean cut through the middle really hard hard right um not really hard um really like it, it was a really good cut right and it would chop in half right so we started off with only a couple pencils right i was like ninja so like cut my pencil and I was like whoa and so we got a couple more pencils and we did it so every time we did it it just felt so freaking cool man it, it was it was great fun um but what happened was got to the point where everyone was sort of looking at us um and we were just sort of on the floor I mean, no, we weren't on the floor. Uh, the punch pencils on the floor, right? They were just pencils and pencils everywhere. And eventually, you know, the class pet. I don't think many people actually care, but the the, the teacher's pet, right? Annoying person ever. Snitched on us. Um, there wasn't even a teacher in the classroom at the time. Um, and if you're wondering where we got all these pencils from, in that age, we had this little tower and it had different supplies in it, so one little tray would have pencils, one tray would have rubbers, or erasers, whatever. Um, you get the point. So we got a bunch of pencils, right, we did the pencil chopping. Um, we got snitched on, right, the teacher found us, we knew we were in trouble, like, we knew we wouldn't get away with this, because, like, there was no pencils left, um, at all. So it was kind of funny, but it wasn't funny when we got snitched on and we saw the teacher coming towards us. This wasn't like a kind teacher, this wasn't the kind of teacher to just like watch you kill seven people and then just tell you to apologize to their families. Like, no, this wasn't that kind of teacher. This was the kind of teacher that you would like take a step too loudly and he would scream at you. Like, this is the kind of teacher we're dealing with. That was a cool shot, by the way. But look at this, look at this shot. Top corner, let's go. <laughs> Anyways, um, he wasn't that kind of teacher, eh? Like, no, he, he was the kind of strict teacher, right? He, he flew the t tables, like, he, because we had tables, we didn't have, like, assigned desks, we had just tables that you chose to sit at, you could sort of sit wherever you wanted. Um, <coughs> and, he, he sort of picked up our table, moved it to the side. I remember he nearly hit someone, actually. 
uh, we like moved our table to the side, right? And then <clears throat> um, he saw this just ocean of freaking pencils on the floor. Um, and we knew we were in trouble. Just like the look on his face, it was that that look lasted about two seconds, and then because he was just in like utter shock, right? Um, understandable. I mean, I don't think any teacher would let you get away with it, but uh, he was just like, "What have you guys just done?" And then he just started screaming at us. Honestly, we kind of deserved it. Um, we were young and we were dumb. Okay, that's that's my excuse, right? <coughs> this took <coughs> like we had to pick up all the pencils. <coughs> um, some of the pencils didn't get chopped too badly, so they could go back into the thing. They just got sharpened at the edge a little bit to um make them not as ragged because some of them didn't have a clean cut but were kind of not very cut so um yeah we ended up having to send an email home to our parents telling us what we did um the other person see i was kind of an honest kid and in, in that age i would tell the truth completely my my friend um the other guy that we called michael um he wasn't that kind of kid he he, he knew what he was doing, right? I didn't even know you could do this. He didn't put his parents' email in. He just sent an email to himself, right? Um. And the teacher saw it. Um. Right, nothing too bad happened to him. But I ended up sending the email home. I f I'm pretty sure he didn't actually end up sending an email to our parents. He just let us do it. So he... My, my friend Michael, yeah, he never got in trouble, right? Um, he got out of it completely for free. Um, but I think for a whole other week, um, like a week, I had to spend that, like, time in the kitchen cleaning up, doing the dishes, loading the dishes, you know, emptying the dishes, doing washing, like, everyone's washing, right? Right a week. Every try I did earned a dollar, and... I ended up buying a bunch of new pencils for the school. The teacher apologized to me. No, I apologized to the teacher. He said it was okay, just like, don't do it again, because like, that really like pissed me off. Um, so yeah, I never really did that again, but that person, you know, I'm still kind of friends with today. Um, I mean, yeah, that's that's the story of how <laughs> I I became a pencil ninja. So um if you guys want to hear more of these stories um please let me know because I'm happy to make more of them. I have a ton of stories of like stuff that I did in like primary school, elementary school for you guys. Um like um yeah, I'll tell more stories if you want just let me know in the comments maybe like subscribe if you want to see more and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye